guys, Inbell556 here. And in today's video, what I want to talk about are fake Troy backup iron sights. This topic just came to my attention last night as I was cleaning a gun that we had just used in one of our testing videos. When I went to fold down the front sights, which were Troy backup iron sights, to the best of my knowledge, I noticed that they felt loose. And when I started looking at them closer, it looked like there were some small parts that had fallen out of this sight. Now, I took the sight off, I looked at it, and I couldn't figure out exactly what was wrong. It just looked like it was a manufacturing defect. So I sent an email last night to Troy Industries, and they answered this morning. And I've been emailing back and forth, and they wanted me to send them some pictures. And when I sent them multiple pictures of this backup iron sight, they let me know that, in fact, this was a counterfeit sight, and they couldn't help me. So I started trying to dig into this topic and try to find a little bit of information about how you can tell. I was very concerned about my other sites. I have very many Troy backup iron sites. They're the sites that I recommend if someone wants some backup sites and they can afford them. I think they're really top of the line sites. And they're the sites that I've recommended to friends more than any other backup iron site. So I really regard those sites very highly. And I was concerned that this site had slipped through without me noticing that. And so I went back and started looking at my Troy backup iron sights, trying to figure out if I had any other sights that were counterfeit. Fortunately, I've only found one other rear sight that was a counterfeit. And so somewhere along the way in my willings and dealings in buying parts and accessories, I bought a pair of fake Troy backup iron sights. And what I'd like to do is look very closely at these sites, both the real ones that I bought Troy backup iron sights over several years now. I think I probably bought some when they very first came out. And so there have been some slight changes and I want to kind of go over those in detail with you. And we'll look at the fakes and we'll look at some things that, that you can look for to try to make sure that the sites that you bought were in fact genuine Troy sites. So what I've done is I have the fake pair that I've now discovered of Troy backup iron sights. And then I have some genuine Troys that have some slight differences that we'll go over and talk about so that hopefully we can help you identify the sights on your gun and make sure you have the genuine article. This is actually the gun that we used in the test. I've taken off the front sight uh, once we found that there was a problem with it. And the rear sight is actually a genuine Troy sight. So let's review the details of what you can look for. So the first thing I want to talk about is just the general fit and finish. And I have to tell you that I was, I was thrown off. This is the fake front sight that broke. And um, just... Overall, it looked pretty decent. It really surprised me that, that I didn't pick up this earlier now that I know uh, what to look for, some of the details to look for. But, but all in all, you know, it looked pretty decent on first uh, examination. Now, it's broken now, so there's a lot of play in the sight. Um, the two silver pins that lock the sight in place. So you see this, there's silver pins there are gone. They just evidently just fell out when I had the sight on the gun and was firing in full auto. So that's what brought my attention to it. Um, and I really feel kind of foolish now because I was sending pictures of the site um, to Troy and saying, uh, your site broke, uh, what can you do to fix it? And they emailed me back and said this is 100% guaranteed a counterfeit uh, site. So we'll talk about some of those differences. Now, as far as the finish, you have a kind of a nice satin black finish. The edges on the site look a little sharper. I don't know if this is going to come out in the video, but you can see that this fake site the, the edges just are more of a right angle sharp and just, just very slightly rounded and smoothed on the Troy site. So as far as fit and finish, just a little bit better quality, but that's pretty subtle. And uh, I certainly didn't pick that up right away. I thought, well, maybe they're having a bad quality control day at the factory. 
but there is there is a subtle difference the edges um, like these edges on the side here on the front just a little bit more smoothed a little bit more radius very subtle but then if you look at the uh, hardware the screw to tighten this down you can see that the screw on the fake compared to the screw on the original the real one um, this screw looks kind of shiny and and blued in finish and you can see that the screw on the real troy is actually kind of it looks parkerized it has a little bit of a matte finish to it uh, same thing on, on this part uh, the finish is just a little shinier and cheaper looking but if you didn't have one side by side it would be easy to to be fooled there now one thing that um, the factory rep uh, pointed out to me was that the engraving and the logo were a dead giveaway. The, the engraving on the fake, which is on the left, compared to the engraving on the real, you can see that the logo, the detail of the logo right here is just not as detailed. There's the, the real one right here the fake one there's just not as much detail in the logo the letters themselves you see that the real troy on the right says made in usa and i found that on almost every real troy that i have the one on the left which is fake does not say made in the usa the lot number is something you can actually read on the real one and i, I wish i had noticed this i mean look at the lot number on this fake one it's really kind of blurry and I don't even know if there are real numbers there. But it makes you think that there's a lot number, but obviously very well defined on the real one. So if there is an uh, inscription on the bottom, look for the quality, look for the lot number, look for the quality of the logo and see whether it says made in the USA or not. Now on the front, inscriptions um, you can find some differences um, people talk about the fact that the the writing on the fake one on the left takes up more of the front space compared to the writing on the real one so I think as far as this goes it, it really is is harder to tell from the writing on the front um, if you don't have a side-by-side -side comparison Now we'll look at the rear sights. Another difference between the fake Troy Battle Sight on the left and the real Troy Battle Sight on the right are the apertures. It looks like the aperture on the fake is a little bit smaller and they, um, they just aren't as tight. This flips back and forth very easily the little ball bearing that's that putting pressure on this really doesn't do much as far as stabilizing this so it's very easy to move back and forth whereas on the real troy battle site um, there is a definite click and a detent when you go back and forth and so fill of this aperture and make sure that it feels like it's uh, very secure and that there is a detent that locks it in its proper position rather than just flopping back and forth. And then another um, interesting change that the, the representative pointed out to me is that there is a wedge in here that puts pressure on the site so that it has its little resistance when you, when you open it and close it and it locks into place, okay? And this wedge that's in here is a synthetic plastic type of material to put pressure on the site itself. And so this is a this is a older this is a used site. It's been used right much, and you can see that the finish is not worn at all. And he said in a lot of the uh, fake Troy sites that the wedge that's used to put pressure on the sites. Is metal so in the fake site there's a little the wedge of material that puts pressure that's down here 
is actually metal. If you feel it, you can tell that that is not a synthetic material, that that is a piece of metal. And what you see, see the wear marks, the rub marks from the metal on metal right here. And so in, in the fakes, even though these are uh, not all that used, you can see the, the wear marks on the sites from that metal wedge as opposed to um, the Troy battle sites, which this is a very old site and has been used for years. And you can see that the finish from interacting with that wedge, putting pressure on this site um, is still intact. Now, what I'd like to do is just point out um, that actually I have a, a mini of these Troy backup iron sights, but these were just a few of the black ones that I pulled off just to show that there are some differences just in the date of manufacture. Uh, this is probably the oldest backup iron sight that I have from Troy, and the, it has markings um, on the front, but they have completely blackened over time, and it did not have any marks on the bottom. But this is still very, very tight in its function. If you look at the details, there again, this is parkerized. The edges are radius. As a matter of fact, this older one, I think, was probably machined even a little bit nicer. It had a little bit more of a radius on the corners and the edges. And uh, the, even though this is a very old site, um, there again, with the synthetic material wedge, there's no wear of the finish from folding and unfolding the site over years of use. And so, you know, they're not going to look all exactly the same. This is a newer Troy backup iron sight. And you can see that it has the little detent screw in the front right here. And the older Troy, this is one of the probably one of the original ones, doesn't have that detent. So there are going to be some changes, but I think the big key is just the overall quality, the fit, and the finish. Um, and then certainly in the newer ones, looking at the engraving and looking at the the little logo and made in the USA. Now this uh this one site did not have any engraving on the bottom, but this is an original Troy. Um, here's one that just says Troy Industries folding battle site on the bottom with a lot number. But once again, this is, this is an older one. And look at the detail of the logo and how crisp the numbers are and the letters compared to the engraving that's on the fake. Very big difference in the quality of the engraving there. So that's a dead giveaway. And then you need to start looking at the at the fit and finish. You can even see like on, on this battle site now that I've started looking with a critical eye, look at the machining marks. You can see some machining marks in the metal that, that go across the metal. So obviously a fake. So the Troy backup iron sights are very high quality. Like I said earlier, these are the sites that I always recommend to friends if they want a top tier backup iron sight. But unfortunately with their success, they've fallen victim to a huge counterfeit market. So you have to be careful. Now, the full retail price of a single rear backup iron sight from Troy is close to $120. And the front sights are about $100. And so they are very expensive. Now, you can shop around and you can find them for significantly less than that. But if you see sights that are you know, $40 or $50 or $60 or even $80 a pair, then you, you know that you need to be very suspicious. And my point would be just make sure that the, that the person that you're buying it from or the company that you're buying it from is reputable. Also get confirmation ahead of time that if you have a problem with these sites that they will return your money if you return the sites to them. I hope you found the information useful. 
It was certainly an eye-opening experience for me. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please post those and I'll try to respond to those in a timely fashion. We'll see you next time.